Hello, and thank you for watching Phone System Hero. Right here we have another FileMaker Pro tutorial. Today we will be learning how to make a pre-generated number to appear in one of your fields on your database. And this can be used to make an invoice number pre-generated for you, your inventory, a stock item number generated for you, a customer number automatically generated for you so you don't, you don't have to provide it by yourself. And right here we're using FileMaker Pro 11 and this should work in almost all of your FileMaker, I would say more of the updated versions, maybe FileMaker 10 and up. Um, the current one as of now is 2000, uh, FileMaker 12 because it's 2012. Um, so we're using 11 because that's the version I have. It was the current one when I bought my FileMaker. All right, here we have fi uh, FileMaker. I have an inventory database and very, very simple as you can see we have three fields total, your item name, the vendor, which is, if you don't know what a vendor is, it's basically the uh, the supply company or the company that you get your inventory from and you have your product number. And right now we're in, um, I believe it's called grid view, let's see, table view rather, and it's, as as this database gets filled out, it's this, this kind of view, table view, is going to look more familiar to you like it's a Microsoft Excel database. So it's going to look like that. Then we have just a little overview, your list view, and that basically has all of your um, your records shown uh, on one page, so you can print it out. And then we have my favorite view, which is form view, because it looks more like an application. So right now, to make the product, to program the FileMaker database to enter a product number automatically in your product number field um, is basically we have to first go into edit layout mode right here this button and I would just a warning to you that are actually going to do this um, I would be very careful in edit layout mode and I will show you why right now you I'm just going to explain before I do this but basically you can actually delete something that you don't know you deleted and when, after you hit save there's no way of going to edit and undo to undo what you did and if you profession a lot of people have their FileMaker database professionally designed and that takes hours and hours to do not only that but it co could cost hundreds and hundreds maybe even thousands of dollars and it could potentially cost some companies charge by the hour it could potentially cost you maybe a hundred bucks or so maybe even more maybe less to fix this issue if you're not familiar uh, I'm not a, I'm not certified in FileMaker but FileMaker was basically so easy to learn that I learned almost everything I learned like 99% of the things that I'm gonna tell you right here on my own uh, when I'm bored I just basically play around with FileMaker a little bit get familiar with the features all right, enough talking about that stuff. Let's create your product number. Basically, we're gonna go into a mode where you can edit what the field, what the ta the field does. So right now we're gonna hit your manage button, and basically we have a drop down menu that comes. You can manage your database, you can manage security, the value list, your layouts, your scripts, external. What does this say? Sorry about that. External data sources. Right now we're gonna hit manage database. So we're going to manage the database. Right here we have three different options here. You can manage the tables in uh, your database, the fields, and your relationships, which is a little bit complicated. And I'm not 100% sure about how to tell you what relationships do. I know basically a little bit about it. Relationships, you can have different uh, layouts right, like that appear usually here and it can, you can have one layout for your basic data of your inventory you can have another for um your shipping a shipping database so you can ship items out to your, co your customers and you can have relationships between for, uh, you have you can have relationships from one layout to another to kind of integrate them together i'm not 100 percent sure that's that's i think that's what it does i wouldn't even count on my my uh, knowledge of the relationships as of now because like I said I'm not FileMaker certified if there is even is a certification uh, I just learned this all on my own and it took time alright 
now on your fields category we have a list of all of your fields we have item name we have company name which is not over here anymore because I deleted it prior to making this video you have your vendor which and, and product number which are all shown right here right now to make that general the generated number we're gonna double click on that field that you would like to generate that number on so right now it's product number let's double click and then we're on it automatically takes you to the options for the field and it automatically selects auto enter for you but you can also have, select any of these here um, basically we're gonna check mark serial number and don't worry when they see serial number they don't mean like a product uh, like a serial number of a product for customer service it could be for that that's why they call it but it's not only a serial number it could be an invo for an invoice number item number stuff like that not only serial numbers all right the when I said before there are two ways you can create it right here you can um, you can have FileMaker create it as soon as you uh, make a new record or you can have it on commit which I believe means you can have a button pre-programmed that you click that button and then it generates that number for you then um, I like to do for most of my databases and especially for this one I like to create to generate it on creation and basically we have right here next value so basically that's gonna that's you're gonna type in the first first um, item number uh, you would like to enter and let's say we're gonna have item numbers 2000 and up so you're gonna type in 2000 if you like that and increment by I'm sure it's very self-explanatory if you want it to go up by one number uh, like one item is 2000 the next is 2001 next is 2002 you put increment one if you want it to go by twos 2002 2004 stuff like that and you hit two so on and so forth so you basically get the idea let's hit increment one and basically that's all we do make sure you hit the okay's not the cancels or else nothing will happen it automatically saves save it for you when you go into this mode hit exit layout when you're finished and basically that's it and now Simply watch what happens when you create a new record. Watch the uh, product number field. Ta-da, we have a number generated for you. And watch this. I keep clicking on it. We have more, I'm creating more and more records. There's one, two, three, four. These are all your product numbers or any sort of pre-generated number. Anything you can think of you can use these numbers for. FileMaker can do it for you. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, catch you next time.